Hello student, today I am going to discuss angular momentum and geometrical or physical meaning of angular momentum. In my previous class already I have discussed about angular momentum. What is angular momentum? The turning effect of momentum of a particle about the axis of rotation is called the angular momentum of the particle. The turning effect of momentum of a particle about the axis of rotation is called angular momentum of the particle. When a particle revolving or rotating, the particle possesses angular momentum. Actually, what is the physical meaning or geometrical meaning of the angular momentum? To understand geometrical or physical meaning of angular momentum, we have taken this diagram. You see the diagram, a particle is rotating about an axis of rotation is OZ. OZ is the axis of rotation. So at any time, at any instant, the particle is at point A. So if you draw a straight line from origin to the point A, so this line represents the position vector, position vector of the particle. So OA is equal to, here you see, OA equal to R, it is the position vector. Now after a small time interval, after a small time interval, say del t, the particle reaches at point B. So through a displacement, del r. So again, if you apply triangle law of vector addition, OA one side is one vector of the triangle, AB is another side of the triangle in the same order, then resultant of OA and AB is represented by R plus del R, that is OV. So this is R, this is del R, so R plus del R is OV. OV is the position factor of the particle when particle reaches at point B. So now what is the displacement from A to B? So displacement of the particle, displacement of the particle at a small time interval delta is final position vector plus initial position vector r plus del r minus r so r r cancel so its result is del r so displacement from a to b is del r again when particle is moving with velocity v if the particle moving with velocity v <coughs> And then, when the particle reaches from A to B, the displacement of the particle we can write in terms of velocity. Displacement equal to velocity into time. So V is the velocity of the particle, and how much time taken from A to B is delta. So A B equal to del R equal to V delta. This is the displacement of the particle in terms of velocity. Now here we have done construction that is OC is drawn you see OC is drawn parallel to AB to make a parallelogram so OC is parallel to AB so OABC OABC is a parallelogram now what is the area of the parallelogram so area of the parallelogram is OA cross AB means R cross del R so area of the parallelogram is area of the parallelogram OABC is R cross del R. This is written in terms of magnitude. So magnitude of the two sides, magnitude of the cross, magnitude of cross product of two sides, sorry, two vector. The magnitude of cross product of two vector gives the area of a parallelogram. This is the one theorem of uh, cross product of vector. So area of the parallelogram is the magnitude of, magnitude of cross product of two vectors. So R plus their magnitude. Now, if you take area of the triangle, area of the triangle, what is the area of the triangle? Just multiplied by half, half into, half into base into altitude, half into magnitude of R, 
cross dollar so this is the area of the triangle oab area of the triangle oab area of the triangle half magnitude of cross product of r vector and dollar vector so that, that is the two sides of the triangle now this area so since when the particle moves from a to b particle takes a small time interval del t small time interval del t so area covered by the particle also small so that is why small uh, quantity is represented by del so del a. so this del a, this is this area of the triangle is represented by del a. So del a equal to half r cross uh, again del r equal to you see del r equal to what is del r del r, del r equal to v del r equal to v del t you see del r equal to we can write v del t so here written v del t now this v we want to write in terms of uh, momentum as we know momentum is product of mass and velocity del r equal to v del t so v equal to p by m v equal to p by m you see v equal to p by m we can write here instead of v instead of this v we need to write p by m so p by m is written here you see so v now becomes p by m so m is the mass of the particle what is m m is the mass of the particle so mass of the mass of the particle taken outside that is denominator so 1 by 2m again this del t this del t is bringing this del t is bringing in the left hand side so it is product it will be dividing when we bring left side so del a by del t del a by del t equal to 1 by 2m r cross p now again you see this is r cross p you see r cross p is the angular momentum this is the vector form of angular momentum. What is R cross P? R cross P is the vector form of angular momentum, which is denoted by Q letter L. R cross P equal to Q letter L. So R cross P equal to Q letter L here. So now, if you put modulus, this is called mod, two parallel line, is it represents modulus, it gives the magnitude of R cross P. So if you take magnitude, this magnitude is say L. So vector sign is removed. So here, instead of magnitude of modulus of R cross P, we have written as L. L represents the magnitude. Now L equal to L equal to del M if you transfer left side, it becomes product of del A by del T. So angular momentum of the particle is equal to two times of mass, two times of mass of the particle and aerial velocity. Since del A is uh, dividing, so del A is divided by del T, del A is divided by del T, this is called aerial velocity. So now here it, it, uh, it means that when the particle is moving like this way, say A to B, then what is moving? area is moving that is why it is called aerial velocity when the particle is moving from a to b then how much area is covered that area is sweeps out this area is jumps out with that time interval again if we take here another point say b dash point then again area will cover so that area is moving with that is uh, this area is moving that is called aerial velocity so this area, you see, this area of the triangle represents the area shift of the particle in the time interval, uh, del t. So area is shift out, area is jumps out. So, and it is divided by time interval. That is why it's called del A by del t is called aerial velocity. It is called, this is aerial velocity. So it is aerial velocity so angular momentum in vector form if you write angular momentum in terms of vector form so l equal to 
2m del a vector sine vector by del t. So this angular momentum of the particle is equal to two times two times product of its mass and its aerial velocity. Two times product of mass and its aerial velocity. So this direction of the aerial velocity you see was the direction L equal to 2m, two times of mass and its product of aerial velocity. I hope it's clear. So angular momentum when a particle is revolving, when a particle is revolving in a uh, about an axis of rotation, then angular momentum of the particle is equal to two times the mass and product of mass and aerial and its aerial velocity. You just think. So it is just like a, a area is moving, area is jumps out, area is jumps out, area is swept out of the area, swept of the particle in that time interval. Thank you.